Hello again. Now I'm going to show you how to draw a scatter plot on SPSS. Please download the data for this exercise from the link as shown on the video. This data set is the same data set as we used before. The, it is on factors affecting SGA, small for gestational age. Small for gestational age is defined as weight of 2.7 kg or less for term babies. As you can see in our data set, those defined as normal has a weight of 2.7 kg and above. Those defined as SGA has a birth weight of 2.6 kg and less. The exercise for today is how to plot a, a scatter plot between the mother's body mass index and the birth weight. The mother's body mass index is considered as the risk factor, so it should be on the x axis. Birth weight is considered as the outcome, so therefore it should be on the y axis. Why? Because x comes before y. So since risk factor comes before outcome, we will plot accordingly. So let us draw the scatter plot on SPSS. To draw the scatter plot, first click graph, legacy dialog, scatter. Select simple scatter, define. For the x axis, you will select body mass index. For the y axis, you will select birth weight. Click OK. Now you have the plot. But the plot is not that nice because it doesn't start from zero. Okay, so we will change the plot so that it will start from zero. First, we will change the x-axis, double click on the x-axis, change the minimum to become 0 and the low margin to become 0 also. Click apply. Now click on the y-axis. Again, we click on the minimum, we click on 0. For the low, for the low margin, we also set it as 0, we apply. So now we have a nice uh, diagram which showed the relationship between the, these two lines. Okay, so what else is missing here? We don't have the fit line. So we can draw the fit line by clicking on the top right side there. Auto fit line at total, click the one, immediately you have the fit line. Okay, so they also give you also the R square. So R square is 0 0.186. Okay, can we make it better? Yes, you can make it, make it better. So you can see here, we do not know the value of the constant where the line crosses the y-axis. So we can create the necessary scale. Okay. So we click on labels and ticks. Click on minor ticks. Number of ticks between those two lines, you can set it at 4. Click 4. Y4. So we have 1.2, 1.4, 1.6, 1.8. So that's 4. We click apply, Maybe you can see the line there. So you can see it crosses at 1.5 something. Okay, so close. If you want to, you can also set the same thing here. Double click, display ticks. Again, you can set it for my ticks. Okay, so we have 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Okay, so now we are done. So we will we will continue our discussion in the PowerPoint. We have copied and pasted the diagram here into the PowerPoint. Okay, so this is the line, the diagram that we have drawn. So you can see we have a few things of interest here. The R square is zero point one eight six. As mentioned before, this line is showing the steepness of the slope. So, in conclusion, there is a positive association between mother's BMI and birth weight. As the mother's BMI increases, the birth weight of the babies also increases. Since R square is 0 0.186, therefore 18.6% of the birth weight variability is contributed by the variability of the BMI. Please repeat the same scatter plot between mother's weight and birth weight, mother's height and birth weight, mother's age and birth weight.
Thank you very much.